I want to add a little more flexibility to my character. So I'm going to use a deformer. We're going to go to window, toolbars, deformation, and our, it's these green tools up here. I'm going to make sure I'm clicking my drawing layer of my hat and I'm going to select its hammer and wrench tool and go into our tool properties window. We just want to focus on these options up here. These are different kinds of deformers that we can use. I'm not going to get into what each deformer does. We can do that in a different video. I'm just going to click this one here, the envelope deformer. So it's most common. It's very versatile and I like to use it a lot. So now with our envelope selected, we're on our hat layer. We're going to go into our stage view, click, drag, click, drag, and release. So now if I go in with my transform tool, I can move these points and it deforms my hat. So you can really get some nice flexible movement with these deformers. So our character is flexible now. The last thing we're going to do is add a drawing substitution to the face. Click our drawing substitutions. This can kind of, if I want to swap expressions, this is very useful. So I'll go to my timeline and click you can create a totally empty drawing or you can copy the same drawing. I'm going to duplicate this because I want the eyes to be the same and see how another drawing substitution popped up. So now with my contour editor, I'm going to go in and change this expression to a sad face. Using the bracket keys, if I select my drawing, I can swap between my two drawings and you can have as many drawing substitutions as you want. You can even sync these drawing substitutions with other drawing layers, but that's a whole nother thing. And that's it guys, we have our character. We created a palette, we added pegs to animate on, we created a deformation to give it more flexibility, and we even added a different drawing substitution. So here's a little demo of what you can get using just pegs, deformations, and drawing substitutions. So we get a lot of nice flexibility in our animation. So that's basically all the time we have for today. Get out there, have some fun with your own characters, and happy animating.